So you're probably the my favorite guest yet. Oh. Do you want to know why? Why? There's two reasons. I I, mm. I have a co-host. I don't even want you talking today. This is just a trial run. Don't say nothing. She's over opinionated, as you know. You two know <laughs> as each I other. Know. Yeah. But you're, there's two reasons why you're you're my favorite guest. One, I've never met a guy so committed to his job. Like, are you owner of Sherwin Williams Paints? I uh, I can guarantee I wouldn't be here right now if I was owner of Sherwin Paints. So. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be. So if you own the company, if we asked you to come on, you wouldn't come on. I, I, I'd come on, you know, I'd have my car outside, my drivers, okay. I'd have people with me. Okay. We'd have a whole different setup. But So uh, you're saying the company does well, then? I'm, well, I think so. <laughs> I, I hope so. They, they pay me. I want them to continue doing that, so... Uh, but no, I'm just, uh, that's just me. I'm an animated, happy guy. Yeah. So. Do you find he's like yeah. so into it? Like I can it, vouch for that. I'm, so, I'm supposed to be into it. I love it. It's paint. No, but we deal with reps all the time. Yeah, well, a lot of them are repping like, you know, faucets and stuff. I mean, who gets behind a <laughs> toilet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Who's into that? I mean. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a wild, oh, wild yeah. show. I'm telling you right now. Paint, the wild world of paint. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to say <laughs> Justin Banks. Did I say Dang, it right? You nailed it. <laughs> exactly. That's <laughs> why. It was a hard one. It was that's, a tough my, one. <laughs> that's my second reason why you're my favorite guy on the show. I've had nothing wrong with all the people that were on here before, but they all get these wacky names. I couldn't pronounce them. I had to spend like a week before practicing, and I still screwed them up. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't screw. Well, you, I think you might have screwed mine up a little bit there, but. Uh, so why? Seriously, why are you so excited about like paint? I mean, it's uh, I mean, when you walk into a home or you know business or any any space. I mean, what do you notice first? The walls, the colors. I mean, if, if they it, have sports on the TV. Well, if the TV's on, I might notice that as well. But if the TV's off, the lights are off, uh, you know, there's no appliances in there yet, all this wonderful stuff. Paint is what people see. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's simple, but I mean, if you look at a wall, I mean, that's going to dictate what, what you really like that space or not. Yeah. I know, but you really, really love it. Like, you're yeah. so intense about it. <laughs> it's like, we need to make it. You're making me feel uncomfortable. Now. He's there. Yeah. It's like, hello, I, I, you're, you're outside. <laughs> Like, I'm not well, kidding. Yeah, I'm also heavy on great. service. That's the thing. Yeah. I'm more heavy on service maybe than I am paint. But paint is why I care. You know, I mean, obviously, like, you know, and I understand, you know, when you're running a business like yourself, too, I'm, I want to make sure that we have, uh, you know, your material there. Now, paint is generally the last, the last, you know, the last step in finishing a project for the most part. So I understand that we're down to the crunch time and, and you know, that's what's going to stand, make everything else stand out. Your flooring, you know, I mean, your everything. It's all framed in by the paint and the colors, so. Well, love it. You. I love it. I love the paint. <laughs> well, we we like your paint too, Sherwin Williams. Did I say it right? Yeah, Sherwin but, Williams. Sherwin Williams. That's correct. That's right. Because I've heard Thank a you. lot of people say it wrong. Yes, a lot of people say it wrong. Call it wrong. We had employees. I'm not going to mention names, but say the wrong oh, no. uh, the wrong name <laughs> when they answer the phone. So. Well, I think you should just like do what Kentucky Fried Chicken did a long time ago. It should just be. SW Paints. It is most of the time when I speak it, but you know, I gotta say Sherwin Williams first, like just so people are aware, and then I shorten it to SW because yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong. It would be a lot easier when yeah. you get three brain cells, like it's hard to remember. <laughs> well, only, you only need two to get two letters, so <laughs> you're golden. <laughs> so. He should be good. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to say? I have a question. I, I, I read an article, yeah. like you know these these parents. No offense out there, these parents with these tired kids that are all over the place and just you know just yeah. dirty rotten little buggers. Sorry, that sounded defensive, didn't it? I shouldn't have called them that. But. I thought you were talking about my kids. So no, I never met so. didn't even know you had kids. Well, you nailed them right there. <laughs> it paints affect yeah. personality. Absolutely. Your mood. Yeah. You're not personality. you got a bad personality. Certainly. Yeah. You, you, yes. you have it. Yeah. Or <laughs> why are you looking at her drawing? <laughs> but you it, should see my house. It's just like a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> they affect your mood. Absolutely, yeah. So if your kids are hyperactive to begin with, what colors do you not want them painting? I mean, I, I, I would say let's not paint those rooms reds or yellows or oranges. Anything that's going to stimulate play or excitement or, you know, when we see these colors like red, like a siren, we don't think nap time. I think we think <laughs> it's true, but go parents time. Do, parents do it. Are you parents really do it because they think I want my kids to have a fun, playful environment, a playful room. Well, sure, we paint a playroom all these multicolors, but then you see, you know, maybe a bedroom, we want something a little bit more muted, like, mm -hmm. like you know, black. Like, yeah, <laughs> just straight, everything black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why we don't want the ball. We, Why is this crib black? Is yeah, teddy bears black? Yeah, everything's black. We just want them to go to sleep. <laughs> it's just sleep. That's all we want them to do. But we're joking, but it really does. No, absolutely it does. I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, like I said, if, if you look at it, I mean, we paint certain rooms, obviously certain colors, you know, to feed off what the purpose of that room yeah. is. So a theater room is generally darker because you want, you know, want it to feel closed in and, and, and you know, dark and quiet. 
Uh, and then if you're doing like a playroom or something like that, obviously we, yeah, we go all out. We could wallpaper it even with a bunch of funky colors and a big accent wall that's bright pink or bright yellow. Cause that's playtime. That's where we want all the activity. And, and, and same thing goes for an adult. I mean, you know, if you want uh, a, a relaxed sort of like spa space, you see these coastal, cool, relaxing colors, these blues yeah. and because that's the feel we want in the in the environment, yeah. right? So if you go to a, a Friday evening, take your wife to a restaurant and it's romantic, what colors what color are the walls? What color you know? Yeah. What it's some is sort of mood? a muted darker kind of color, yeah. right? To close that space and exactly. make it a tight, good feeling space. So So if you want your rug rats to sleep <laughs> you paint like a bar yes <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't say that but this is really does sw know you're saying this stuff they, they love this stuff they, they, they taught me all this so. the yeah. article went on to talk about people with depression anxiety mm -hmm. that sort of thing do you think that would affect your mood in your house yeah obviously yeah i think so too yeah i never I mean, thought about it though i never really no i mean we pick a color People pick colors a lot. You know, a lot of time when it comes to color, when it comes to paint, obviously colors what everyone sees. You know, there's there's th more things that go into it. Obviously, what the need of that space is going to be, but color is what you know your average homeowner is looking at and saying like, I like it. I like this. This is what my walls look like. They don't really care necessarily what paint does yet. They just know they want that color. Yeah. The, the other thing with colors is that there's you know people make that decision based off television shows, podcasts, uh, you know, Instagram accounts, Pinterest. But there's really no wrong, there's no wrong color if it's something that, you know, you like, if it's something, people say, I want to paint my room this color. Do you think that'll look good? I think it'll look good. Are you talking it, about how that I'm going to paint it? Like the yeah, quality like, of the workmanship or the color? <laughs> well, the color, yeah. I mean, the color, I mean, it's like, do you, can you sleep in that color? Like, I want to paint it bright orange. Well, I mean, <laughs> but sure. I mean, if that's the color you like, that's the right color for the space, right? But uh, obviously, you know, there's factors that we can help people with that, you know, if they want a cool, calming room or, you know, a room that uh, is a playroom or a room that is, um, you know, like a dining room, there, there, there's colors that can, you know, make it feel like that space. So, yeah. yeah. It just sets the tone of the exactly, vibe right? of whatever I mean, we you're know going what, for. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, like I said, it's, a, it's the first thing you're going to notice when you go into a home, especially a new home, is nice, clean, colored walls. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if you hate the color blue and you walk into a home and it's all blue, odds are you, you're probably not... You're already, uh, you know, not loving this house is, is the thing, right? Or you're thinking you're going to have to change something. So, you, you know, so when we paint, for instance, for sale, uh, we tend to go with more neutral basic colors because people can look past even that. They see nice clean walls. Oh, you know, my furniture, they can picture their furniture in those spaces. So there's a lot of the color is, you know, huge. And oddly, I've been selling real estate almost 30 years and I can tell you the colors that were in style in yeah. 90 to 95, 95 to... 2000, right. 2005 to 2008. Like I can tell you, and as soon as I walk into a house with those old colors, mm. the, the sellers may not realize it, but I think, ooh, old house. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Right away, my brain, I don't even think it, it's just it's just there. Right. You know, the mustards and the yeah. that we're mm -hmm. in? And you think, okay, they didn't paint it. They haven't painted it for X number of years. What else, you know, there's all kinds of things that go in your head. What else didn't they do? Yeah. What else yeah. didn't get updated in here? Yeah. Oh, it's old. It's, there's so much work to be done. It's just true, paint. But, but people probably feel like, oh, I'm going to have to tear out everything in here. The floors, you know, <laughs> it's like the light fixtures now. They're looking for everything that's old and out of date, right? Yeah. So, you know, let's keep everything. A simple fix is paint. It it's really true, is. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, you probably notice that a lot. Like, even if you just paint the house and don't it, renovate it anything everything. else, it yeah. can totally change the so look. So what, what's your favorite color right now? Houses. Because I don't even think we introduced her, did we, to the camera? So I thought she didn't need an introduction. I thought so either. I thought anybody who knows Aaron, who works with us at Bridges Elves, Absolutely. knows Aaron. Yeah, they so, just say, oh, Aaron's in the, Aaron's here. You're going you're gonna to draw a fan or two. Okay. <laughs> now, what's your favorite color right now for houses? You're talking inside the house or outside the house? Inside. Or what? Inside, I'm into the whites. Like cream, white, light. Why? With like black and white. metal accents. She's ahead of the curve. That's why. Well, I well. we I had a message from a friend of mine from Romania. Mm -hmm. Sent me a video of her house. It was all white walls. Yep. It literally came in just before we started filming and saying, Rob, uh, sick of the white. Uh, what should I paint the wall color? And I got her text her back and say what? Another white. <laughs> <laughs> Change the tint. That's true, though. 
White tint? Even like a light gray or something is still nice. Right. Yeah. I mean, we like, say white, but you know, white, just, that's, that, that's a whole yeah. other, you're opening up a can of worms because you know, there's cream whites, there's gray whites. It's a huge spectrum. Then right? lighting is a major impact yeah. on, on this as well, right? So, I mean, just saying, you know, she likes white. Well, there's still thousands of whites to choose from and they can have major. Okay, well, you shaved in my bacon because I didn't want to just say, mm -hmm. oh, it looks great. <laughs> It looks fantastic. <laughs> looks great. Right. What color is that? Yeah, keep it that. The, yeah. the white is great. <laughs> yeah. The super looks a good job. But people are people are going whites too because you, you know, they know they can accent. You know they want a clean looking, open wide, open feeling space, right? And they know they can accent with their furniture or with mm -hmm. pictures or with other yeah. things. So, yeah. you know. Well, we're ahead of the curve too because my wife has all white, which drives me crazy. Yeah. Well, I don't mind it. It's calming. Yeah, and it's very good. Yeah. Charcoal -y, brown, dark one wall at the back, huge. Right, charcoal, and it's a flat paint or something because it you even rub up against it and it marks it kind of. Oh, that's not our paint then. That's not no, sure no, it's not. No, it's obviously not. <laughs> we'll have to fix that. But that's you can get a, a flat paint that doesn't uh, that doesn't do that. But you know, and the dog walks by and it leaves. Yeah, up. we call that uh, in in paint lingo it'd be called burnishing. So almost like if you rub carpet the wrong direction, yeah, it you does. See the it does. It's exactly what it is. Right, exactly. So wow, there's he, like a term for it. There's, there's a term for everything. <laughs> I love paint. Remember? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's it, it. Yeah, it's burnishing. It, it's, it's generally, uh, you know, people want flat. Again, we're kind of off colors, but people want flat finishes too on walls. They mm -hmm. want. They don't want a lot of shine. That's yeah, that's matte. old too. When you walk into a home that's almost glossy shine, you think again. Is this oil paint on the walls? How old is this? When was the last time this place was painted? Because everyone goes matte or flat. Uh, but people, but you still want to have the ability to wipe the wall. You, you yeah. can't have a flat wall and have little kids running around. But I don't know if it's paint technology, but years ago you had to paint your bathrooms and kitchens with a shiny yeah. gloss so you could wash it. Absolutely. Especially in apartments like if you owned a, units like a rentals. Right. Yeah, that was that. That was the, and it was that was the case at one point in time where, in order to wash a wall, you needed to have that high shine so you could wipe things off, almost like a, a dry erase board. Uh, but with now, yeah, paint technology basically. Really, is that even a term? Paint technology. Paint tech. Of course, it's a term. Paint technology. <laughs> Just sounds cool. We've got labs through the U.S. We sent testing for everything. Every you should see the the scrub test they do on paint. Literally, a brush goes across a paint film. And they count how many scrubs until it breaks through that film. So there's and a guy there just scrubbing? There's a machine. Oh, oh it's a machine. A machine built. So wow. the yeah. whole industry so is... So the machine's <laughs> taking away somebody's job. Yes. So that's <laughs> another topic. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that's another podcast topic. Uh, <laughs> machines. So what color is your house inside? Right now it's gray, but I want to change it to white. Who picked the color, you or Shane? It was the color that was already on the walls when we bought the place. I just haven't put the effort into changing it yet. What's your favorite color that we paint all the time? You give me a hard time about it all the time. The color that's in my house. <laughs> what it. is it? <laughs> it's it's a lighter, it. medium. It's like a well, it's like a medium light gray. Okay, okay. But I don't want to say the color because I don't want to offend the. Well, company. we were we're. Uh, let's, you know, let's let's say it unless it's mine. I don't know. It's like <laughs> seagull or something. Uh, seagull. It's morning dove. Morning, oh, morning dove. dove. Okay. But there was two. There's call of the loon. Yeah. And which morning, is even darker. And morning dove. Okay. That I went with because uh, hey, everybody knows I'm a house flipper. We had too many houses. Yeah. And I'm downsizing. But in the meantime, it was just cheaper to buy all this paint that was good. It was nice. Of course. Yeah. And she's sick of it because she runs a bunch of the houses. And sees yeah. it all the time. I see it in everybody and else's and house, over, and, and then I come home it. and and she sees it there too. So it yeah. reminds her of work. <laughs> It's even in my rental property. Like, I just don't want it in my house anymore. I well, I know look a guy that anymore. might get you some free paint to paint that. <laughs> and then we'll film it. I know a guy, too. Yeah. When people come into the store to pick colors, do yes. you ever see them fight? Do they ever get in a, like, a little... Well, you, <laughs> again, I mean, I don't want to throw the, uh, you know, the whole world under the bus on this. But when people <laughs> come in to pick colors, you know, people have a mindset of what they want already. Yes. Generally speaking, for the most part, they, they, they just want some confirmation that they're not way off base of picking a horrible looking color that's going to ruin their lives <laughs> and cost them money. And, and, you know, so they come in and asking for advice and we're happy to help all our staff are trained with colors and, and everything. Um, but again, you know, you can tell when someone's already got their mind made up because you'll make a few, you know, comments of like, yeah, this one might work in this space. They'll have all their tiles or their, you know, their, uh, their bedding or their, anything they might have that they want to match it to. And uh, we'll make a few uh, options and then they'll say, uh, they turn everything down except for the one that they came in with in the beginning. So really, you know, half the time it's just us circling back around and saying like, if this is the color you're happy with, you know, we, we, can we, make we can make this color, you know, it's, it's, it's you know doable. What it reminds me Our labs just finished <laughs> constructing the best technology for that color. Absolutely. What to remind you of? 
when you want to go out for dinner and your wife wants oh. you to give a suggestion, but really they've already made their own minds up. They if just I, need to hear the options to know that their first instinct was yeah. right. That's what it reminds me of. I just want to go out for dinner. Yeah, but she wants you to suggest different ideas to shut them down, to know that she's made the right choice. Or for right? you to hit that one bang on the head and then it's just an instant like, yes. Yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> but all our lives would be easier if we just I'm, did that. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like the paint, right? Like you kind of know what you it's want. It's like everything, but then I think. Paint you need to hear the options to know or see the options. You, yeah. And then you're like, yeah, actually, no, I was right the first I'm time. I'm sure I don't <laughs> want any of that stuff. I want the one I yeah. wanted in the beginning. But do you ever try to do it tactfully? Like, um, I know you do. Well, you're a but tactful like, kind of guy. What's in right now? You see uh, this absolutely. color in your bedding? That might bring out this color and it's in. Absolutely. And I, I mean, still don't listen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, it's, no one listens. <laughs> and, and you finish it off. Send me a picture of it. Please, when you get home, yeah, when you're finished. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me see the final results. I need that for my portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we're, we're like, you know, I mean, we're. I understand. You know, any any sort of renovation decision is a big decision, and color is like again, that's the last part. There's a lot that goes into it. It's not like they have to know how to be a carpenter or an electrician, but they still have to, you know, move all their furniture and make that. And they don't want to put that paint on the wall, and they're trying to base it off the little chip that they see that they think they like. And it, it's, you know, they're putting a lot of confidence into I like it on that chip I think I'll like it everywhere in my 3,000 square foot home so we you know we want to lead them to the point where they feel comfortable and that they're they're picking the right color and well your whole store is good I oh, like all excellent. your staff they're Great. amazing at SW and I will say you're the like the most intense guy oh good I intense met. how enthusiastic or, not enthusiastic. Yeah, no, intense not intense, intense. 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 I, like, no, no, I'd like him <laughs> give me the order like, right now Rob if I see you coming in the house yeah, yeah. Yeah. I enjoy it like I think oh great this is going to be fun yeah. Like I, I do. Good. Even when you walked in here, I think that's oh, cool. It's fun. He, he, <laughs> he's he's coming on the show. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I like it. But I, I don't think there's any. We deal with a lot of reps for a lot of companies, mm -hmm. right? Because we do a lot of houses, and you're like the, the Bing Bing. You're up there. I like it. Thank you. So why, uh, why do you go with Sherwin Williams? Like why them? Uh, well, I mean, I've been with Sherwin Williams for ten years, and like most people that get into any sort of, uh, you know, any business, any industry, I had no. You know, I, I knew nothing about paint 10 years ago when I when I first did, took a job at Sherman Williams. You know, I worked some other jobs, went to university, did the whole process, got a job with a company, sounded great. And uh, I mean, they've been really, they've been great to me. I mean, again, like 10 years in, uh, great company, huge company, big, big did machine they, behind did me. Did they right? train you? Because you seem to know everything there is about paint. Anytime I know, I, 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 know I know a sliver <laughs> about paint. There's so much more. There's so much more See, to know. That's what I mean. Like he's excited now to learn about the stuff I am he excited. doesn't know hey, and about I, paint. You know, it's it's exciting because it's a, one of those funny things because everyone's bored by paint. They think like paint, like the, what, what's that common saying? <laughs> like what's like watching paint dry. It's like that's that's harmful to me <laughs> in my industry. That's like one of the worst things you could say. <laughs> like watching paint dry, that's phenomenal. <laughs> paint drying, the technology. It dries, sometimes it dries faster, it dries slower, we can speed it up. Uh, but no, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot that goes into it that it's surprising. You know, when I'm, I thought paint, like I thought, hey, you walk into a paint store, uh, you pick a color, that color's in a gallon already and you take the gallon. I never even thought like they tinted paint. Like it just, no one thinks about anything about paint. So when I got into it, it was, it was wild. There's all these from, you know, architectural home paints to uh, like we paint, you know, like ships and, and machinery <laughs> and uh, planes and car, everything, everything has a coating. If you look around, it's all coated. So, I mean, Really? Yeah. So look, isn't that exciting? Yeah. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> it's super exciting. Everybody here looks so jazzed up. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're excited for you. I'm yeah. excited. Look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. It's weird. Like, who's he talking about? You know what I, I always say? Is I, I don't have to have your passion. Right. But I love talking to people about their passion. Sure, yeah. I don't sure. care what it is. I don't have to love it. But I, I, I will now look at paint forever and think of that. Everything has a coating. <laughs> Everything, has everything a code. does. It that black has a code. That black's different from that. Like exactly, these has a were code. coded with you know uh, some sort of you know paint or or coating. Even the wood is <laughs> coated. Pass out. My brain's I know. Look around. Everything. There's nothing. You can't get anything bare. That's the trees outside. That's about it, right? But once we cut it down, we coat that. We put paint on that. Sherman Williams, cover the earth. How old are your kids? <laughs> Two and seven. What color are their bedrooms? Pink and blue, and for, and the other one is blue. Oh, so yeah. you, have, boy. you have rugrats that are running rampant, and yes. it's because you painted their bedrooms. But wild. they're not. But they're not hot pink. It's a nice muted, kind of relaxed pink, and a nice calming blue. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you know, downstairs, there's there's uh, there's lots of crazy colors downstairs. So. Yeah, but that's when they run wild. Then we then we put them in the room and they go to sleep. Then you want them to be excited down there, sleepy in the bedroom. Yeah. How do you get them to brush your teeth? Is there a color for that? Not. <laughs> White. <laughs> you want your teeth to look like this, and I show them a gallon of paint. Not this creamy color of paint. <laughs> Not that white. Just Everything white I do, I relate back to paint. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> learning that. That's my life. Yeah. So you, what color? You guys are you two redheads? Yeah. Because I'm a little scared to be here. Sure. It's a lot of energy. What code is what code is red? red well, red. there's also well, you like to call me orange head. So like I never call you orange head. <laughs> are you different. kidding? All the time. I know. <laughs> it's a lighter but red, I guess. But even still, orange and red, there's so many colors. So many. We're even right? different colored redheads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right? Okay, it's too much for me. I know. It's too, it's too hard to handle. We'll paint. What, what are we going to be buying now for the next houses? I'm not this sure. This will excite you because you're sick of the ball, the color blue and blue, gray, well, whatever. I'm not sure it sounds like we might be going white. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to <laughs> like go dark white. Creams, maybe? <laughs> right. Cream color. Like, just... Just lighter. We'll come in with a, a sample. A little bit lighter. Come in with a sample. A little more calm. I can match any color. And if you've ever been on our, I don't know if you've used our any of our tools online, but uh, you can actually upload, this is paint, I'm going to get excited again, I'm sorry. <laughs> New technology. So we're going to Sherwin Williams. You're going to Sherwin Williams. Com. Yep. You're going to go to the color tab. I believe there's somewhere at the top. And uh, there's a, a bunch of different tools, but you can literally upload like a photo of this. Let's say you took a photo of this space. No, we're going to do her house because she's oh, yeah? her color. Okay, well, we take a picture of her house. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let, let's uh, try it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why not? Let, let's put a bunch of different colors in her house. Why not? Uh, and yeah, you can literally paint your, your space online. Um, if you have a photo of, like, uh, let's say your favorite team is the Bruins, I guess. Um, See, you, that gets you uh, excited. You don't want that color. <laughs> you no, maybe. Unless, depending on what time of year it is. Like, I mean, I guess if it's, you know. After the playoffs, so kind of like down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's not talk. <laughs> right, okay. If you uh, if you uh, basically have a photo of the Bruins or let's say any any sports team, take your cursor, curse, bring the cursor over. It'll tell you your closest Sherman Williams color to let's say the black and the the gold, or the black and the yellow for the the Bruins or whatever you may have. If you had a picture mm -hmm. of a bouquet of flowers, you could do it. Pull all these colors out of it, and we can tint colors that way. Um, you know, you're not limited to the colors that we have in the fan deck. You're not limited to anything. I mean, we can we can match any color. See, paint. It's so exciting. Can you virtually like set up, send, uh, upload pictures of your whole house yeah. and then put the color on to Absolutely. see? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And it's helpful. I mean, you got to take it with a grain of salt because you're looking at it through a yeah. screen. So the color's not going to be identical right. to the actual paint color. But it's going to give you, you know, some confidence in, in, in that whatever. Let's say you're going whites or creams. Okay. I think cream will work in this space. Mm -hmm. And then you'll move on and get your first gallon or your tester. So do you recommend buying the little samples? Actually, putting the paint on I do. First. I do. Just, yeah. I mean, for Who the wants price to buy of a sample. <laughs> get it just done. Go all get in. in there. No, do it. Because most people now too, 30, are gallons. painting their whole house the same color or at least the whole main area, right? So that's a yeah. lot of paint to oh, invest, it just to seems waste. Like a waste of time. No, but it's oh, a man. bigger waste of time if you paint your whole house yeah. red. If and you're a like, very Oops. undecisive <laughs> person, it's, it's definitely, I recommend it. Like for the yeah. cost of a little, it's a quart of paint too. So you can paint a good size wall. Well, I see those people on Pinterest with nine different colors, stripes on the wall. And it's like, oh, the Mac, you to paint your whole house. You could be golfing right now. Yeah, you're right. You could be golfing and be done with it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Okay, whatever. you got to come back on the show. I we're thought gonna, I was going to stay here all the time now. We're going to, you've got to come <laughs> back. Just gonna you be have to come sort back. Of like, uh, we're, you've got to get your house painted. And if you want your kids to sleep for like nine, ten hour naps, besides the night, paint the room dark charcoal. Yeah, paint it all black. Don't go light. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Cool.